Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to go through a trace of a selection sort algorithm. My one sentence quick summary of selection sort is find the smallest value and swap. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first element in the unsorted portion of the array. You can see I'm denoting the unsorted portion of the array with this red bracket here. So we'll start with the first element in the unsorted portion of the array. We'll walk through and find the smallest element in the unsorted portion. And once we found it, we will swap it with the first element in the unsorted portion. What this will do is it'll grow our sorted portion of the array by one, and it will shrink our unsorted portion of the array by one. So each iteration, this unsorted portion of the array is going to get one card smaller. So I've taken the numbers 2 through 10 here with these cards and randomly shuffled them into this unsorted portion from this unsorted array. And now we're going to go through and we're going to apply selection sort to sort it one card at a time. All right, so let's start. So the entire array is unsorted, so the first element in the unsorted portion of the array is 7. So we assume 7 is our smallest value. We're going to walk through and see if there's a value smaller than 7. So we go to the next value. Is 4 smaller than 7? Yes. So 4 is our new smallest value. Is 3 smaller than 4? Yes. So 3 is our new smallest value. Is 10 smaller than 3? No. 3 is still our smallest value. 8 is smaller than 3? Nope. 6 smaller than 3? No. 9 smaller than 3? No. 2 smaller than 3? Yes. So 2 is now our new smallest value. 5 smaller than 2? No. So 2 is our smallest value. Now we swap and we swap it with the first element in the unsorted portion of the array. All right, now we have just shrunk our unsorted portion of the array by one, and we have grown our sorted portion of the array by one. That was the first iteration of the first pass of selection sort. So now our problem is a little bit smaller, right? For our second iteration of selection sort, we're gonna do the same thing starting with the first element in the unsorted portion of the array, but our unsorted portion of the array is just a little bit smaller. So we're one step closer to finishing selection sort and sorting these nine cards. All right, so same thing. Four is the first element in our unsorted portion. We assume it's the smallest element. We walk through and try to find a smaller value. So is three smaller than four? Yes. So three is our new smallest element. Ten smaller than three? No. Eight smaller than three? No. Six smaller than three? No. Nine smaller than three? No. 7 smaller than 3, no. 5 smaller than 3, no. So 3 is the smallest element in our unsorted portion of the array. So we swap it with the first element in the unsorted portion of the array. Our unsorted portion shrunk by 1, and our sorted portion grew by 1. So that was the second iteration, or the second pass, through selection sort. Next. We take the first element in the unsorted portion of the array and assume it's our smallest, walk through, try to find a smaller value, and then we swap. So four is our smallest, 10 smaller than four, no, eight smaller than four, no, six smaller than four, no, nine smaller than four, no, seven smaller than four, no, and five smaller than four, no. So we effectively swap four with itself because it's the smallest element in the unsorted portion and it's also the first element in the unsorted portion. Shrink by one, grow by one. That was the third iteration. Now the start of the fourth iteration. Assume 10 is our smallest value. Eight smaller than 10, yes. Eight is our new smallest element. Six smaller than eight, yes. Six is our new smallest element. Nine smaller than six, no. Seven smaller than six, no. Five smaller than six, yes. Five is our new smallest element. It's also the last element in the unsorted portion. So five is our smallest. We swap the five and the 10. Swap our smallest element with our first element in the unsorted portion. 
this shrinks the unsorted by one and grows the sorted by one. Now eight is our first element in the unsorted portion of the array. Assume it's the smallest, eight smaller than six, or excuse me, six smaller than eight, yes. Nine smaller than six, no. Seven smaller than six, no. 10 smaller than six, no. So six is our smallest element and we swap. This shrinks unsorted by one and grows sorted by one. Eight is our smallest element. Nine smaller than eight, no. Seven smaller than eight, yes. 10 smaller than seven, no. We swap the eight and the seven. Unsorted shrinks by one and sorted grows by one. Nine is our smallest element. It's our first element and unsorted. Eight smaller than nine, yes. 10 smaller than eight, no. So we swap the eight and the nine. Only one more iteration left. Nine is our smallest element. Is 10 smaller than nine? No. So we swap nine with itself. Our unsorted portion shrinks by one and our sorted portion grows by one. And we don't actually have to check the last element. We know this has to be the largest element in the array. So our array is now completely sorted. So that was my trace of selection sort. Remember, with selection sort, we find the smallest value in the unsorted portion of the array and swap it with the first value in the unsorted portion of the array. That's going to shrink our unsorted portion by one and grow our sorted portion by one. I like to do these traces with cards because a lot of us have playing cards around. So you can go grab a suit, grab uh, say two through 10 or uh, ace through king, whatnot, and you can shuffle them and put them out in front of you in a random order and apply these sorting algorithms. And if you understand how to trace on any random assortment of those playing cards, say a selection sort, then you really understand the algorithm and you can derive the source code quite easily. All right, that was my trace of selection sort. Uh, stay tuned for traces of a few more sorting algorithms.